Hi, welcome to this beautiful moment in time, wherever you may be, however you're flowing, however you're feeling and dancing through it or resting through this time. I hope that you are finding what you need as it arises and you're able to move with it and feel it, allow it to flow through you and alchemize it so you can continue to step forward on your path. I'd love to know how you're doing. If you want to write any comments below, what you're dreaming about, how you're dreaming. <laughs> so I drew a couple of cards today for you. And as I was thinking about our creation portals that we have, right, within ourselves. And to me, what I was given in a meditation, a vision journey, if you will, a few days ago was the three onks, three golden onks. And um, first they arrived in different different images and then they melded and rewove to something else. And then, but what arrived from all of it were these three onks, one placed in the womb space, which again, I'll state that we all have this womb space, no matter your gender, this cosmic womb space, right? Just below your belly button, the heart space or the heart song, the rhythm, the vibration, the instrument of creation as well. So we have these three creation points, the womb, the heart, and then our cosmic portal or gateway for allowing the womb and the heart to rise up and out to be expressed in toning, in voicing, in sound. Sound is magical. It is creation. It is... Um, the creation and weaving of light from our womb space, our cosmic womb and our heart, right? And also it comes in through the realms above, okay? Through all those gateways above into our crown chakra, down into our, our um, third eye and all the seeing and the knowingness. I always see it dropping down into the heart space and moving about, dancing with the rhythms for it to really the heart to help it understand what has come in, the heart to help it communicate, to help these thoughts, these visions, these knowingnesses to communicate up out into the world, to create, to release into creation, right? And so that's how I always see it working. So I saw these three onks, these golden onks, womb, heart, and portal gateway. And they may look, if you take a moment to see if that arises for you or to envision them and see how long they extend. Perhaps, you know, you have the onk, um, the crossing of the onk here, right? Making the point of the center. And perhaps the loop is this area, or maybe the loop is here for you. You know, that gateway loop, and then the crossing extends down into the heart into the next you know, space. Maybe they're large, maybe they're small. Maybe it depends on how you're moving, how you're feeling. Because I see them expanding and contracting with our breath, with our frequency, with our um, emoting, okay, and our movements. And so I see that it, it shifts depending on how we need to adjust. It adjusts and helps us alchemize what we need. And so that's just the first layer that I'll share with you of what I received with it. Um, still more is coming through with that. And so I wanted to show you the three onks, the, the triple onk is how I've been hearing it <laughs> in these light waves and this creation. But it's the golden light. And I, I know we are coming up and I wanted to share with you, we're, we're coming up to this portal, this, this we always are, are we not? <laughs> with this uh, Syrian opening. And for me, it also connects to the Magdalene lineage, the Rose lineage. And this is actually how these onks arrived were with golden roses. And so I invite you to imagine golden roses, one in each hand, your masculine feminine connections aspects, right? That aren't separate, but 
they are expressed in um, various ways. And so holding these golden roses, one in each hand, and closing your eyes and taking some deep breaths and imagine breathing in their scent, this golden light pulsating in through your nose. And maybe if you open your mouth to intone out or to breathe out, but inhale it all the way down into your deepest core and allow the exhale to come rising up and out. And then maybe you inhale the golden light of the scent coming up through your nose and it rises all the way up down into your heart and then exhaling it up and out. However you choose to inhale the scent and find where it goes, where it flows, where that golden light moves in your body. And to me, it's, it's opening, it's expanding those areas, it's illuminating those areas, it's adding that, that Christ consciousness and um, you know that, that awakened state of, of love, of expansion in that. <laughs> And so with the Syrian, the Syrian and Rose lineage opening this portal, this um, doorway within ourselves, right? But also collectively moving through this. And um, for me, it's the 22nd of this month, you know, you can go either side because it builds up to it and then there's an opening you you walk through and this is how i see it personally you may see it differently experience it differently but then moving through that space a few days or a week afterward with the waves and waves and i see them as oceanic golden waves waving this oceanic golden waves of initiation rejuvenation rebirthing realigning um, rewiring reconfiguring reweaving your inner realms to the outer realms so your timelines your the possibilities right and the way that you allow creation to form because you allow it right um so i see this lion <laughs> this golden beautiful lion and it's interesting because lion has been a theme for a long time for me very many 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 years but this lion and and yes I do I have Leo in my in my chart <laughs> as we all do but Leo is very prevalent and so you know this lion this this um Syrian lion this golden lion is what I see coming in so if you want to take a moment to connect this week you know, into the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and allow yourself to feel and smell, inhale, really, it's it's inhaling the scent of the golden light, inhaling that in your body. Um, I hear thunder outside, so yeah, that's mm, powerful for me, and, and I hope that means something to you. So, from nighttime dream time, the oracle deck, or the children's affirmation, bedtime affirmation cards that Noelle Swanson and I um, created together. The first card, she's the beautiful artist of these cards. I just wanna give a shout out to Noelle. She, she's really a beautiful being, obviously, and a beautiful artist. And I don't think they can be really separated, but um, journey through the stars, exploring other worlds. Right? This is the first one that came in. Um, to me, today, in this moment in time, journeying through the worlds within. And the worlds moving through the worlds, allowing the worlds to swirl and, and finding what is ready to arise. What is ready to come up? What world are you now, at this very moment, ready to create? Are you ready to sound into creation? Are you ready to awe ah, into creation? Because, you know, awe ah, is the seed sound of creation. And so journeying within yourself to bring it forward, journeying in a vision journey and a meditation and trance dance or just dancing and allowing that to, to rise and know. Also in your sleep time and your dream time, 
what is coming in your dream time to help you not only release and shed anything that needs to be burned away because um, that's not your truth anymore, right? Whatever needs to be released and, and burned away. But what is arising to help you do this? What is your medicine that is arising in your dream time? I would love to um, share that with you. The next card is imagine green light surrounding your bed, helping you feel healthy. So this card to me, you know, green, I today am thinking of Gaia, Pachamama, Mother Earth, and feeling healthy and helping her be healthy and seeding that light into her. My heart light, your heart light, us as a collective, seeding that light down into her so her roots and those tendrils of light can spread and connect and ignite. And all of those portals around the world where the temples are, where you know oak trees and the sacred trees may stand, the willow, that's that dreaming tree, the fey trees that underneath the she hills, um, the mounds of she, which she is, is the um, illuminated ones or the light ones. There are different meanings for it, but it's the fairy folk, the fairy kingdom. And um, I know I've said before, they're not just these little tiny fairies. They are big beings of light. And we have mythologies of them that aren't myth at all, are they? So <laughs> anyway, but I think of this green light and, and allowing this green light to to nourish yourself with Pachamama, allowing her to fuel you, move up your roots, so root down into her, drop roots into her, whether you're dropping it from your womb space, down through your legs, down through your feet, if you're walking, right? Or um, if you're sitting on the ground and you're dropping it down from your root into the ground, allow that light to root down into her, grow roots into her and allow her to bring her nourishment up into you, up into your womb space, up into your your beautiful central sun inside, right? That solar plexus, up into your heart space. And then of course here, you can allow it to rise also into your third eye, into your crown, and then drop back down into your heart space. So you can feel it. You can feel what needs to um, feel healthy, where, where you need to be nourished what you need to be nourished by and then ask yourself what do you what do you need to be nourished by <laughs> how are you nourishing yourself are you allowing yourself the time to give space you know are you allowing yourself to peel away the layers um to give space to that that which needs to come forward in feeling which needs to come forward in expression and creation. And creation can be painting, drawing, journaling. It can be um, rearranging your room, your home, your, your hair, <laughs> anything really that feels creative to you. It's, you create, recreate yourself every day. Sometimes I think about when I awaken, I'm not the person I was the day before. I am renewed. And so how do I step into my day? How do I sing into my day? Before I step out of bed, what do I want my first step to be? That in harmony, that in love, that in balance, that in wild, juicy release, <laughs> um, or peace, grace. The last card I drew, which I, I feel the inner child arising so much for the collective of, of needing to nourish the inner child, of needing the inner child to come out and say, I'm calling you out. It's time. It's time for you to see this, to acknowledge this, to feel this. I need to be seen, acknowledged, felt. So these are the cards coming forward today. Um, you can be anything you want in your dreams, a mermaid, a wizard, or amazing you. <laughs> and so... It's reminding us, you are everything. You are everything you see. Everything you see is you, it's within you. What part of yourself wants to come out, wants to emerge? What part of yourself are you emerging? Are you 
re-emerging are you merging into yourself right all of those past as we call past timelines but are happening simultaneously what are you bringing back in for yourself what oh that's mine thank you i'll, I'll just return that to myself <laughs> i'll return my power back to myself right what power have you given away what part of yourself have you given away that needs to merge back in remember your magic, your wildness, your sovereignty. And through these next few days that we'll be moving through with the astrological dances happening and the beautiful sunlight, moonlight, night, deep womb space that will be happening within us individually and collectively. Keep stopping and moving and expressing and merging in love. And love and remember you can be anything you can sing anything you want to sing you can be anything you want to be you are everything so what is it that you want to express what is wanting to come forward call it forward allow it to be see seen heard felt okay allow and that's what I keep hearing and that's what I keep feeling and seeing and I think that that really connects with the three onks as well. So I'd love to hear any comments, what you're moving through, how you're doing, um, what's emerging for you, how I can support you. I send you so much love and a deep heart bow to you for being here in this present moment, being present for yourself and singing love, being love. So much love to you.